What's new YouTube and welcome back to our channel. This is part two of our Rank S Comprehensive Guide in Inferno Mode in Resident Evil 3. If you missed part one, you can go ahead and click the little card at the top of the screen. So without much further delay, let's get into this. Now we just beat Nemesis for the first time and now we're heading into Kendo's gun shop. So once you go up this uh, fire truck, you're going to go straight to a shop. You're not going to delay any time. You're not going to go get extra items. I'm going to combine these plants. And these guys, you're just going to, you know, let them roam. You're not going to fight them. You're going to go try to go around them. This guy, I believe, tried to uh, hit me with his uh, tentacle, but I, I did a dodge. Same here. Disregard this falling guy. And here, you're not going to grab much. You're just going to go straight to the key. I'm going to skip that. Grab the key. And then you want to put all your uh, extra items into the box here. As I stated before, those grenade rounds, you're going to use them later on. But not right now. And then you're going to head to the back alley and then go straight to the apartment where you're going to encounter two of the parasite zombies. Now this guy right here, you can either kill or you can dodge. It's up to you. If you want to play it safe, just kill him. Same with this guy. You can kill him or you can dodge him. Here I dodged and the guy tagged me as I went back. But you can run the risk of getting caught in the corner like it happened in an earlier playthrough. And since these guys just attack so fast, they're not gonna let you go. They'll just keep you there. They'll attack you until they kill you. So if you wanna play it safe, just kill that parasite zombie, or if you just uh, feel like dodging, it's up to you. You might run the risk of dying here. After you exit the house, you're gonna trigger this scene right here. Nemesis with a, uh, a rocket launcher. You can, it's fairly easy to dodge. All you have to do is kinda zigzag. You can use the, the dodge move here. Uh, just be careful because when Nemesis hits these zombies with the rockets, uh, he's going to charge you and he's going to punch you uh, as he did here. Now, I dodged a couple of times. The zombie got me, but again, Nemesis with the assist. You know, I thought he had actually uh, done some damage, but he didn't. I continue going forward. Just keep uh, sidestepping here. Now you don't have to worry about these zombies, they're not going to hit you. Uh, just kind of dodge forward uh, all the way to the to you, till you trigger the scene. And then continue dodging his rockets here. He's going to shoot at you quite a few times, but if you just dodge forward, you will trigger the second scene and then go to the next part. Here you want to get this uh, first aid spray. Now here, it's very important. Uh, at least it happened to me once. I was in... Um, caution mode and so when the big uh, head rolled down it squished me in, in as, it, as I was going down the stairs in caution so if you're in caution just to be safe um, don't forget to get this plant uh, just to be safe you want to be in fine like I am here everything is burning the crab shack or whatever that restaurant is called you can also dodge forward as the head is rolling. That might help too. I just wanted to be in fine just to, in case, you know. You never know in these modes. I actually dodged in here. So here Nemesis is going to make an appearance. He's going to either charge you or shoot you with his rocket launcher. So you want to keep an eye on him. Here he charged, punched, and I dodged. I kind of continue dodging. Go to this door. And I believe he does hit me right here. Boom. Yeah. So, you want to, again, be in full health. Use one of the first aid sprays. Follow Carlos. And this should trigger the next scene right here. Carlos, you're a great guy. Thanks for the tip. Hey, 
You saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. He just books it. He leaves you behind. Yeah. You'll be safe. This is just, you know, to get to the next part. So we're going to skip this scene right here. We're going to skip the train scene. I know uh, one of the guys die, one of the guys die, one of those UBCS guys. I forgot his name, Mikhail or it's not Nikolai. He's the bad guy. And then here you're starting the police station section with Carlos. So th again, this part is fairly easy. You're not going to save here. You're going right. to just continue forward. Uh, again, getting those shop items so that you can do maximum damage and have a lot of defense. Oh, poor Marvin. You're going to skip that. And you're going to want to just kill this dude, man. Brad. Zombie Brad. Eh, just go to town on him. Don't worry about wasting all your bullets. You're going to get the... Uh, infinite assault rifle as well so once uh this guy opens the door head to the shop uh or to the item box get the pouches as well and just leave all the stuff that you don't need right here and take the assault rifle uh the two uh defense coins the two assault coins and the star manual our intel still worth it and again, you're not going to save yet. This part is fairly easy. All you have to do is maintain safe distance from the zombies. And then hopefully you don't get too much damage. You might get hit. I, I know I got tagged a couple of times here, but I survived. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. That takes a while, man, for this to to continue. This guy just talks and talks, talks, talks to you about uh, Dr. Bard, uh, who's in the star's office for some strange reason. I don't know why this guy is here, but apparently I'm guessing he was just looking for protection. I guess he went to to the police department to get the, the most uh, capable guys, and those would be the, the star's team, I guess. Uh, you're going to skip that scene, although it's a pretty cool scene. You get to see how these cops die uh, in Resident Evil 2 when you're uh, playing Leon or Claire. You don't really see how they die. They're just dead. And, and here you get to see that. Uh, this guy you just want to take care of. And then here, there's a, there's a way to go in fast. You want to charge this zombie uh, or uh, give him a, a shoulder hit. But if you noticed, uh, I went through the side. And so it didn't work. But you can... Just go in, uh, hit the zombie with your shoulder, and then continue forward. This guy got me because, for some reason, Carlos uh, went through the side. And then here, as soon as you exit, you're going to make a, a sharp right turn. Put yourself against the corner, and then just uh, unload on these guys. Just want to kill them real quick. Now, the reason we're killing them is because later on, you're going to encounter some liquors. And you don't want to have to uh, deal with the liquors and the zombies here. So you could have used the flash grenade that you picked up, thrown in at these guys and just uh, charge forward. But then on your way back, you would have had to deal uh, with all the, the, the group of zombies and the two liquors. So that's why we killed them here. Kill this guy too. And we're not going to do any extra steps. We're not going to go get the pouch. We don't need it. You want to go upstairs uh, to the third floor. You're going to want to take care of this zombie here. And then you're going to get the key to the armory at the bottom. And then kill this guy too while you're at it.
Now this zombie survived, oh, or he appeared. I don't know. I don't know if he appears or, or he survived. But once I got rid of him, the liquor made an appearance, so I had to run up so that he would go. I guess reset in his place, but no biggie. I just go back. Um, I actually go into the um, the photograph room and or the dark room, and I took a, a red herb and that's it. Combine this plant. Head to the armory. Now you want to go walking. Remember, liquors hear your steps. So if you just walk, they're going to, uh, I mean, they'll hear you, but they, they won't attack. They just kind of sniff you out. But you want to be careful and go around these guys. You don't want to touch them because if you do, uh, they'll attack. So once you go in here, you're going to open only two compartments, 104 and 109. 106 contains uh, assault rifle bullets and you don't need them uh, right now. Get the battery, get the grenade, and then tag this guy. Cleaning house. Here, uh, Brad makes his second appearance. In Inferno mode, he returns. You can shoot him through the door. You can wait for him to open the door. It doesn't matter. I just kind of shot him. Um, if you walk here, the liquors should not make an appearance. Don't run, because they might. I didn't test it. I didn't feel like I wanted to test it. Um, I know in standard mode, they do appear if you run. And yeah, that guy's there, so you don't want to run. You want to head upstairs. Go in here. There's a plant that you can grab. And then you don't even have to check the other lockers. Just grab the explosive, put the battery, make the hole. And again, you, you kind of get a, a little, you know, uh, a little scene of how the the locker room boiler exploded and and you need Leon to go get the tool to, to fix it. These zombies just take care of them real quick. They just come up. Kill that guy. Kill this guy. Make sure you can just shoot him in the face if you want to. You can just tag him in the body. It doesn't matter. They go, they go down pretty quick with the assault coins. Now here you're going to encounter a couple of pale heads. Uh, if you just unload on them, they should die. That's the first one. You got the second one. You're going to want to get the first aid spray. And then Inferno mode has some pale head zombies with parasites uh, far in the distance. So I kind of waited here. You might try to run and dodge them and then get into the room. I played it safe. I waited for these guys to make an appearance. Kill them. So once they come in, blast them. Now I, I waited for a little bit and then I went forward and boom, they kind of scared me and I was like, oh, damn. So just tag them, make sure they don't get too close. That guy went down and then this guy, you know, came back and I, and I got him. So here, the liquor is going to make an appearance. You can you can kill him or you can try to get around them. Here I try to get around and one of the pale zombies got me from behind. He almost got me too. He put me in danger, but I just used the first aid spray and booked it to the door. Now, I didn't have to use a healing item here. I could have just gone to the door, triggered the next scene, uh, and then just moved on. Uh, in fact, Carlos uh, would be in fine health once you use him again so you didn't have to waste it but I, I wanted to be safe I didn't want to die here I didn't want to run the risk of redoing everything from the, our last save point <clears throat> so that's why I did it here you just pick up the red herb the flash grenade 
put everything in the box and continue on to the next part. Skip that. Geo gets up from the train crash. Skip that. Continue forward. <clears throat> Here is where you're going to want to save uh, for your third save. Skip the conversation, pick up the herb or the uh, first aid spray, pick up those mine rounds. Uh, you're going to need those for the boss battle. So take the grenade launcher and you're going to want to take also the flame rounds because Nemesis is damaged easily with the flame rounds. And that's it for the battle. You don't need anything else. Reload it here. The shotgun is there for you if you uh, miss to pick it up at the beginning. But I don't pick it up. I don't really use it. Um, we have the infinite assault rifle. So save there. <clears throat> and continue forward. Now here, you're going to want to avoid getting too close to these zombies. I know they're uh, rising. They're getting up but you can run the risk of getting uh, grabbed. Here, just f run forward. This falling zombie, disregard it. Still alive. I can't and then just go to the bridge and trigger the next uh, cutscene and go to the battle. Nothing else. Skip that. Take that, Nemesis. Can you keep running? You could do it, Jill. You could do it. Like I said before, she takes a lot of punishment, man. She's she's pretty cool. So as soon as the battle starts, shoot him with the flame round once. Shoot him twice. It should take him three or four rounds for him to trigger his next phase. That's the fourth round. And you'll know his next phase because he does this uh, this yell. Now, if he doesn't get uh, to the next phase with the fourth round, you can just shoot him with the assault rifle like I did there. And then here is where he's going to start running on top of the buildings. You always got to pick your spots. It's either this building right here or the one opposite to the other one. You shoot it with the mine round. He falls down. Tag him with the assault rifle. And then you don't want to use anything but the assault rifle. Keep tagging him until you trigger his next um, run on top of the building. So just keep keep going. If you reload your gun, you're, you can't dodge. So just be aware of that. He got me right there because I was reloading. Uh, so this is where he uh, does his next run. So now I pick this building next. Shoot it there. Wait for him to run across. Once he falls, tag him again, assault rifle, and then just keep shooting him with the assault rifle. You don't need anything else again. Dodge, dodge. Try to reload your gun as you're running away from him. That way you can dodge if, if you need to. He, get, he got me a couple of times. Keep hitting him there when he turns when he starts running. Pick your building, shoot it, and down he goes. He should be. Oh, uh, there you go. Yeah, that's his death. Uh, once you're done with the battle, you have to pick up these mount, uh, mine rounds, okay? You're gonna need them for another nemesis battle. Now you can pick up the flame rounds that are located on the other side but since my inventory was full here I just decided to continue forward you don't need to uh, but I just did
skip that. Joe gets infected half a day later. I'm going to skip that. And then this is going to be Carlos's turn again. And it's going to be the hospital. It's one of the, my favorite parts, to be honest. The hospital's pretty cool. When the zombies are um, coming into the building, you have to fight them. That's pretty intense. It feels a lot like that extra mode where the zombies are coming in where you use the sheriff in Resident Evil 2. Now here, you're going to want to pick up those grenades you either put in the box or not. Um, it's the grenade and the two flash bangs. Skip those and then continue forward. Be careful here. There's a liquor. And you just want to take care of him real quick. Here he gave me uh, a little bit of a hard time. He tagged me there, but not a big deal. Got him at the end. Continue forward. You're gonna go get the tape recorder, and then you need to get the uh, cassette tape in the top floor. <clears throat> Here you're gonna want to take care of these zombies. Take care of that one, that one, that one, and then the last one. Now I don't think I, I killed the one on the floor because if I remember correctly on my run back, uh, it, it got up, so. Little jump scare there for you. Here, take care of this guy. After you go through these doors, you're gonna want to just go straight ahead and then jump out the window. You're gonna go get the key to open the door on the second floor. Don't forget your green herb. Get the key. And then head back upstairs again. You can grab the map if you want, you don't need to. And here you have a, a choice. You can either dispatch of these zombies as soon as you walk in, which I do, or you can go get the nurse's key card and then the zombies will get up and then you can kill them there. It's up to you. I just do it uh, because I don't want to deal with them later. You're gonna want to take the flash grenade in this locker. And then here is the nurse's key card. Now you don't have to trigger that little um, jump scare, uh, but it's interesting that in the police station, Carlos uh, doesn't want to open the locker because he knows there's somebody locked in there. But here, if you don't know, you just open it and the, the body falls out. So it, it's kind of like a little callback to that. This hunter, take care of it. You don't have to do anything. You're, you have a lot of distance when the scene triggers that you can just unload on him and he dies. You might have to reload like I did. Here, flash grenade, run like hell. I had to uh, kind of punch this um, liquor here, or uh, this hunter. Here, you want to walk because as soon as you walk in, there will be a liquor. And if you run, this guy's gonna go attack you. So just kind of Move a little bit. He he did. You know, I alerted him. I touched him. So I just had to run at that point. Go in there, and he didn't attack me, luckily. You're going to get a pale head zombie here, and you're just going to take care of him real quick. There's not going to be any zombies in this room, so just go to the uh, next door. Uh, it's up to you what you want to do at this point. Uh, you have a couple of flashbangs. You can use them. I try to take care of this uh, hunter so that he doesn't, you know, pose a threat, and I just have the other one to deal with. So I open the door carefully. He still tags me a couple of times, but it's you can kill it. 
fairly easy. It doesn't take too much time. He actually came out uh, and I punched him and then I just finished him off. Uh, so after this, you're going to want to take those flash uh, grenades that you have. Throw one here. Now these guys start flailing their arms and so they might tag you. Try to keep away from them. Get the tape. And I just used the other one because he just came too and I didn't want to deal with him. I already lost some time with the first hunter, so go out this door. Jump down the window and then head into Dr. Bard's office. Now this zombie right here is the one that I, I thought I had killed, but it got up and so it went after me. Uh, I was pretty pissed off at that point. So I didn't want to use a healing herb or a healing item, but I had to. And then he kind of left me disoriented, but I made it through, went into the office. This guy is goddamn Nathaniel Bard. It's funny how villains just get to be more practical than than protagonists. This guy, Nikolai, I'm assuming he killed him. Um, went in through the window. I mean, we could have done that. But no, we had to go hunting for key cards and keys and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. So, cleaning house. So we get the, um, you have to read the computer to trigger the next scene. And then we get the vaccine. And then we just head out. You're going to get a little hunter here. Disregard this guy. I always run. Um, in, I believe it was Nightmare I was playing. He tagged me here as soon as I went through the door. But it was it only happened once in all of the runs that I've made. And so I, I never deal with that hunter. You're gonna be okay, Jill. Give Jill the vaccine. That's it. We're going to skip that. Skip that. And we're going to pick up this first aid spray. Uh, I believe that's all we have. I, I went into the box to look for more healing items. I had a, a mixed herb, but that was it. Notice how we still have one grenade. You should have one grenade at this boss, uh, or not boss battle, but at this point, because it's going to come in handy in a second. I'm going to skip the scene. And then f the strategy here is you just want to tag these zombies as, as they're crawling in. You don't want to give them a chance. My video glitched there for a little bit. I don't know why. Um, but these guys, just get them as they walk in. Um, just go through each of the windows. Check them. Shoot the zombies. The only thing you're going to want to get here is the first aid spray that's uh, in those crates right there. Don't get the bullets, you don't need them. You can grab this detonator if you want. I used to grab it at the end, but now I just kind of take it when I have a chance. And as these guys just are uh, crawling into through the windows, just you know, shoot them in the head. It's fairly easy. You'll lose some time here. I mean, it's only natural, um, but you should have plenty of time uh, once you get to this point but this this little battle here does take up a, a couple of your minutes also you can use those generators if uh, those those zombies prove to be uh, a little bit too much or if they gang up on you And if you get those zombies before they crawl into the window, they fall and they die immediately. So You don't have to wait for them to, to get inside. Now 
Now when the lights turn off, it's where, you know, the fun begins. You're going to want to pay attention to the noises. Uh, the liquor makes some noise and he opens the door. You're going to want to throw this grenade at the, at the wall next to the door and then he immediately dies. You could also throw it at the liquor. Uh, I just, you know, better safe than sorry. Throw it at the, at the wall. Get these zombies. You're going to have a second liquor Bruh. come in. So you're going to want to go into this room that the liquor came up through. Shoot the zombie that falls in. Get the flash grenade. Get the pouch. Get the herb. I'm sure you're not going to need it. But that's good enough right there. Uh, you can also stand behind that desk and kind of keep guard right there. It works especially well because you have a view of all the windows and you have a view of when the hunter comes in and so. And he comes in through that window that I just shot that zombie from. You just have to be paying attention because it does take a bit for him to, to jump in. And if you're not careful, if you're running around, he, he goes in without you even noticing. You have to keep that grenade handy. Once this guy comes in, you're gonna stun him with a flash, and then you're just gonna take care of them fast. There he goes. Flash grenade, stun, and then kill. And then it's just uh, a matter of waiting here. Um, those shutters take forever to close. These guys walk in, um, shoot the generator. They all should go into this kind of, you know, shocking state. They start dancing, dancing, ha, huh? dancing. And uh, as they're just kind of idle there, just, you know, tag them, get them all. Wait for the timer to run out. And then just go to the door or in front of the door and then kill the guys that are trying to crawl in. Shouldn't take long from here. Boom goes the dynamite. And then you get to the door. You gotta kind of cancel this conversation out. You all right? Not even close. You can skip that. And then Jill wakes up. So that just about does it for this episode. Um, if you found the information useful and if you liked the video, you can go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Also, if you want to enjoy more of our content, you can subscribe to our channel uh, and join our Level Up crew. And remember, guys, when you join our Level Up crew, you level up with us. So I'll see you uh, in part three, the last part of this um s rank inferno guide hope you guys have a good day and i'll see you next time latte